It's great to see you all. Congratulations on this and all the things you've been doing. You've all been quite busy. Congrats, congrats. Thank you. Um, let's dive in. Uh, Isaac, I, I'm, you're kind of riding a great wave of fun right now, um, coming off of DD and, and so many other things that you've just, uh, you've done over the years. How are you staying grounded with all this, um, surge of attention and even popularity? My dad and my mom. I mean, my dad's always told me, you know, like being humble is like the, the number one thing of just being a human. And so. I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I, it's it's something that, like, doesn't really, like, like, I'm not, like, like, oh, I'm not telling everyone, like, oh, I'm, like, this famous actor. I'm in all these things. I go to school wearing, like, all black in a hoodie, uh, and I'm emo. I don't talk to anyone. Uh, I sit in the corner of the room on my phone playing games. So, I mean, <laughs> I, the only time I'm really, like, out out here trying to, like, be myself and, like, or trying to be an actor-ish persona is like sitting in this chair or like doing stuff for work. But other than that, I just try to be a human, you know? You I love that. just wave a stack of $2 bills at us and go, Well, okay, oh, I was just showing off my bills, of $2 bills. That's something completely different. <laughs> the world's yeah, they're, they're worth a lot. celebrity. Yeah. Worth a lot now. It's awesome. Um, Gabrielle, how would you describe the vibe of this season and what was most curious and unique for you for playing Elle this time around? I think if I had to describe season two in one word for everyone, I think it would just be self-discovery. Um, and what was so curious about playing Elle this time around was we get to explore her vulnerability and we get to understand her backstory. Why is she the way that she is? Where did she come from? And as an actor, that's thrilling. Um, it's a it's a pure gift when the writers want to explore your character and dive deeper into the origin story. So I think my favorite part of season two for Elle is getting to explore her emotions and watch her growth period. I've been playing Elle since I was about 12 or 13 and now I'm 19 years old. So from a personal standpoint, Elle is also growing, and then in that time period, I was also growing. So that's kind of how the two relate. I love that. Thank you for that. Uh, AJ, which is tougher, voicing Gizmo or voicing Gambit in X-Men 97? <laughs> uh, tougher physically? Uh, they're probably about the same. They're just the opposite end of the spectrum, whereas everything with uh, Gizmo is <laughs> and pinched. Gambit's down here and more relaxed. So it's kind of just the opposite ends of the spectrum. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't say either's tougher. Maybe Gizmo has his moments where he's screaming or in a way that's like, you know, really pushes your vocal cords. So, all right, I guess Gizmo. Gizmo's a little tougher. What is going on, Gizmo? Ah! We're not mad. We're just concerned that you might be going bad. <laughs> Gizmo, got it. And how are you responding to the kind of sudden, um, well, maybe not so sudden, um, just the, the, the fun um, response from posts, posts that you've, uh, you've made on Instagram, um, reflecting back on the X-Men 97 character of Gambit and uh, the, the cropped T and all that, and everyone sort of, quote unquote, thirsting after <laughs> that character, but you, but that character. How, what was the question? Uh, how am I over you? That's it's the yeah, question. It's, it's, all, it's all very weird. Uh, it's all very surreal because I don't, I don't know. I didn't think of that as being anything other than just like this is an aspect of I don't know. I wore that shirt, thought it was funny and cute, and that was as much as I thought about it. So the fact that that got a big viral response is really. It wasn't even cropped. I just cut off the sleeves. Because I was like, no, I'm going to be drinking water and eating all day. So eventually your stomach's going to expand uh, throughout the course of a con. So I'm not going to wear a crop top. I'm not insane. But uh, it got uh, it got more of a response than I would have expected. And that was more funny for my friends than me. Uh, so my friends got to really make fun of me. And it was pretty fun. Right, right. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah. And Isaac, if you could describe your... Uh, character's arc this season? What would be a few words? Uh, what's the vibe of Sam moving into this season? I think definitely rebellion is one. He's kind of rebelling against, you know, like his parents where he wants to adventure more and go out. 
He wants to be more adventurous. That's another word. Uh, more outgoing. He's he's less of just like in his little shell, and he's kind of growing out more and trying to explore the world and be a bigger person than who he was originally in season one. And I mean, I guess like maturing in a way, but maybe he's also becoming more immature in a way because he's trying to mature, but prematurely. I don't know, <laughs> but he, he he's he's growing in his own weird way. Got it. You've been in a, a lot of really great memorable things some Good Boys and Raya and The Last Dragon and uh, the Santa Clauses. And now you're, I believe, Winner Win or Lose is coming in December streaming. Um, what's most exciting about that project and having a little forte attached to it and your experience about that? I actually, like, before I knew Will Forte was on Win or Lose, I, I didn't know that he was on Gremlins. And so when I made the connection that Will Forte was on Win or Lose and Will Forte was on Gremlins, it was super cool. And so it was cool just making the connection that, you know, a guest star playing in Gremlins is also a major role in another series that I'm in. Right. Nice. What's one word that you would describe about win or lose? Fun. Pickles. 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 I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Very intrigued all of a sudden. So um, maybe one or two last questions for you both. What do you feel most people might not know about what it's like voicing these um, characters who are now very, very popular? Um, and what's it like working together in that capacity? Are you secluded? Are you together? Can um, maybe AJ, you can talk a little bit about that? Uh, what was the first part of the question? Sorry. What do you feel most people might not realize about what it takes to actually voice and create that when you're actually kind of quote, not quote filming, but recording? Uh, I think the biggest thing is how physical it is, is people always underestimate you can't, if you can't move, you probably can't perform. Uh, and and because you need that to inform how you're, you know, if you watch anyone who's done this a lot, like D. Bradley Baker or any of those, they're very physical with how they move and stuff. And so even for a character, you know, uh, like Gambit, let's say, there's gestures and things you do to sort of emote what's going on. And I think people don't really realize that you can't just sit there and speak words. Uh, I think we as humans can recognize when someone's talking with a smile or, or uh, is moving when they're uh, delivering lines or how, how that changes your emotion and delivery. So that's a big weird thing that, yeah, people seem to overlook. Gizmo is one of us. No! <laughs> And as far as us working together, we don't. Uh, this is how we get to hang out, really, is we did early, early on, um, but only very briefly. But I think one of the issues is Isaac kept laughing, so we had to be separated. Uh, <laughs> he was like 10, right? Or how old were you, like 11? I was, 11, I was like 10, 11 years old. Yeah, so, years old. and then there's this Where's guy the next to him going, ah, blah, 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 blah. and we're, you know, expecting him not to laugh is, is a hard task. Uh, but yeah, the brief moments where we get to work together or do this are so much fun. Yeah, it, as Gizmo, what has been the, has, has there been a, a strange thing that you've had to voice that really surprised you? Or, I mean, cause you, you're obviously seem like such a natural at it, but I'm curious, like, <laughs> obviously the character gets put in a quirky situations. Um, I think... I'm trying to think if there's anything specific. Every once in a while, they'll throw a word at me or something that's like, what's the best way, or a phrase, because a lot of the phrases we get are, gen the English is written in the script, but then I can't say it, Mogwais don't speak English, so it's this kind of weird, sanded down version of English. Um, but every once in a while, trying to find the right sound or fake word, or mog Mogwish, Mogwai-ish, uh, can be a little challenging. Like if you're like, look over there, I might be like, like trying to come up with a sound that just doesn't sound like total gibberish can be challenging because we're just making it up. Right. Well, then one last question for you. As Gizmo, how would you describe or the Gizmo describe this season? Uh, uh, yeah, probably that. <laughs> Beautiful. Tons Thank of spoilers. You. Thank you all for your time. Congratulations on all you do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care.